Welcome back to Tasty Rides. Today we're going to be talking about this 2023 Acura TLX. This is actually not my new car. This is a loaner car because my car is in the shop. I'll talk about that uh, throughout the video. But yeah, this is the 2023 Acura TLX. Uh, I'm not too familiar with everything to do with the Acura brand and the TLX model. All I know is that my car is a 2021, this is 2023. Mine's the A spec, which is a bit sportier. And uh, yeah, it's just, I think this is the base trim or the trim with the technology package. Um, yeah, we got a got a nice, pretty pretty nice looking front end. This is the majestic black pearl color on this car. Um, now, obviously, this car would look a lot better lowered. Uh, it is kind of high up, but this is the uh, I believe the base model or with the technology package. So it's not meant to be sports. It's really like the average person that wants like an Accord, uh, just a bit nicer. You do got four front parking sensors that you can see around. You got the uh, Acura logo with I believe that is a sensor built in. Uh, that's what I've been told at least. I believe these are all LED um, headlights, no fog lamps at the bottom uh, with, uh, what do you call it, with your high beams, I believe they're LEDs as well, uh, and also daylight running lights. Um, got this really cool look right here with uh, everything coming out of the uh, Acura logo. Very long front hood. This is a pretty long car, as you could probably see from the side. Obviously, it's uh, kind of competing with the Accord. I believe that TLX used to share the same um, platform as the Accord, but as of the 2021 refresh, the TLX has its own uh, platform, uh, which is uh, very nice to drive. Uh, this is actually the front wheel drive version, so all Acuras and Hondas come front wheel drive. There is an all wheel drive version called the uh, Super Handling All Wheel Drive. That is not this. This is just a front wheel drive with a two liter turboed uh, VTEC engine and a 10 speed automatic. Um, awesome to see that in 2023. Obviously most cars now are coming out with a CVT and such. Little 1.5 liters, especially from Honda, but uh, you know, you still got a two liter turbo. Uh, I believe this pushes about 272 horsepower around the same in terms of torque. We got these uh, pretty nice, I believe these are 17 or 18 inch wheels. They don't look too bad. Obviously nothing too sporty, but that's not what we're looking for here. Obviously got a shark fin for the um, antennas and such. And then uh, as I said, this is a loner, so this is not the car I'm driving because uh, you gotta be 21, 19 unfortunately. Four more parking sensors around the back. Got these uh, exhaust tips here. Obviously not what the ex actual exhaust looks like, but uh, you can actually upgrade them to the uh, Type S. You can buy the OEM. Um, OEM exhaust to make it look all nice. Um, but yeah, you also got a, a rear parking uh, camera, reverse camera. Got the TLX badge. Let's really quickly look at the trunk over here. You got the button inside of the tail light. Quite massive. This does not have a spare wheel, so you can just lift this up. You got this little, um, I believe, with styrofoam, which uh, would be where the spare wheel usually would be. You got a tire um, inflation kit, got some extra screws and bits, which I don't know if my car has that. And then if we lift this, uh, you do have the uh, battery in there, which, uh, yeah, the battery is in the rear for this car. Uh, let's close that up. And as you can see, you got the, the two rear seats, which do actually fold in, which will show as well. Uh, I do believe this car should have in my opinion, actually gone for a slightly smaller trunk with bigger rear seats, especially for the non-sporty trim. Obviously, it would kind of have to be the same all around, but uh, <laughs> I think that would have been a better choice to do have your uh, release hood right there. So this looks like this is coming out. I can't tell. I think this has been opened before. There's actually an issue with the speaker system on these cars. So um, they do use, a, I think it's a 17 speaker ELS audio system very fancy however uh they are known to have issues with the connectors that need to be replaced you got the nice struts built in goes up decently high uh it is pretty warm in here even though i haven't driven it today at least uh hasn't been turned on in a while but uh yeah you got a two liter turbo engine in here got your fuse box whatever else I uh, don't know what to really say right now. Obviously, this is my first time actually going around a car like this, trying to be Tedward and Topher. But yeah, it's a pretty big engine bay. You can actually see the, the floor right through here, and you can actually probably see the, the side wheel. Um, obviously, it's also 
fits a V6 for the uh, Type S, which hopefully one day I do get the opportunity to drive. But hey, yeah, got a really nice and uh, very big engine beta working. If you need to do any work. Cool feature about this car is that all four doors do have the unlock feature. It's not only the driver door, the passenger door. Uh, the back seats, let's move this, all this stuff. I actually have my stuff in here because I was, uh, again, a loner car, so I couldn't drive home. Uh, I believe the seat is actually further back than uh, my actual normal driving position. The seats do move when you, uh, when you lock the car or when you turn off the car so it's easier to get out and i still have a lot of room i mean i am five 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 six <laughs> i'm pretty short but uh, i am pretty comfortable back here i do have a bit of headroom uh i will say if you are over like six feet or six one as far as i've heard this car does get quite small you got two rear ac vents adjustable for the amount of flow got these little pockets over here not the normal leather pockets but that style so they don't get messed up as quickly uh do got speakers on the side doors and then i believe there's some more speakers in the rear let's try pulling this down because i've actually never pulled oh my gosh <laughs> i have actually never tried pulling down the uh the rear seats i believe there is a button yeah i think that's no where's the button If you can pull these, this car is literally brand new, so I believe pulling that unlocks it. I have to obviously pull the seat forward, but yeah, you can flatten this down, you get a lot of space in the interior, which is awesome to see. So uh, I'll close that up, but yeah, this trunk is already massive. You probably stole like three people <laughs> in here, it's huge, it's it's absurd actually wondering is there a button there should be an escape button this this trunk is too big you might have some bad people with it giving bad people bad ideas and uh yeah that's the that's the rear of the vehicle you also do have a, a light at the top very nice let's get in the driver's seat uh, this car is actually only has like 2300 miles but yeah you uh you got in the car, so that's a little animation, which is super sick. You have some LEDs in the uh, in the side of the door, where the door handle is, on the sides of where the shifter is, and then on your foot well, or foot area. And I believe the uh, LEDs on door handles are actually for all four doors, but there's no additional lighting. Um, it is kind of hot. <laughs> I haven't started the car yet, but uh, yeah, on the side of the door, obviously, got some nice, very nice handles. And uh, obviously... If, four window control lock it and you got your uh mirrors adjustable uh these seats are actually uh powered on both for the pa driver and the passenger which is super awesome um but yeah let's start up the car because like, i'm kind of dying in here got a super cool uh little animation for a second got the eos audio system starting up uh yeah you got uh obviously uh physical buttons for the ac in here which is awesome let's turn down the fans because we won't be able to hear me uh you got two drivers profiles that you can set which is awesome you can adjust the brightness of the uh entire interior which is really useful especially for a nighttime and maybe it's a little too bright uh, turn off traction control, your parking sensors, and then your e-brake or handbrake is actually right here, which I don't like. Um, obviously, same thing for my own car, which I'll probably mention again when I review my own car. I'm not a fan of this. Like, you couldn't put it right here. <laughs> Makes more sense. I would like an actual brake, but uh, <laughs> that's a story for another day. It's not a Tesla. You got actual buttons and your stalks. I think that's what it's stalks. Stalks. What do they call it? Stocks? But yeah, you got your actual uh, physical things instead of little haptic buttons. Uh, this power button is actually for the audio system. There's your start, stop engine button, which is super nice. Uh, you got the little wheels, volume up, down, setting gear, cruise control. Um, 
additional buttons for your cruise control this is for your voice assistant system back button going scroll through your apps where your speedometer is um got a super nice leather wrap steering wheel i actually love this design down here it looks awesome you got the aqua logo this little cool little uh steering wheel uh, i think this is kind of from the on uh, new hondas in general design language i don't think the entire steering wheel is though i think the steering wheels in the other cars might be a little different you got some paddle shifters these are quite small i don't know why they're so small they're like like that's where my pinky is and that's where it is it's very small you can like barely fit your hand on it uh these are rubberized in the higher trims they are i believe plastic but they feel and look like metal which is awesome and then here's the uh area which a lot of people might not like but i've gotten used to and i actually quite like um you got your auto start stop uh because i'm from emission regulation you need auto start stop engines which kind of sucks but uh yeah you can't permanently turn it off you can just turn it off for the session get your brake hold so if you're in traffic you hit your brakes press the brake hold and then you just hit the gas you move you won't get the automatic zero to five miles uh, so yeah you don't have to hold the brake every single time you get to a red light you also got your um, heated seats and the higher trims you also have ventilated seats you can also set them to automatically heat if it's really cold outside you got your dynamic mode selector so if I change this up you can go into comfort drive a normal and a sport and in sport this car is pretty cool in sport the auto start stop does disable normal and comfort you do have those um, you do have the auto start stop enabled by default um, you have a very simple layout for your uh gear shifter your your prindle your uh, you have your parking button you have a reverse which you pull or you just push in and then you have your neutral and then you have your drive slash sport so you'll be in drive you can uh push the dr uh, sport button while you're driving and uh, i believe it changed the way the car does shift and such and uh, i do think the paddle shifters interact a little different when you do have sport enabled uh but yeah the sport uh, dynamic mode just makes the car feel a lot tighter steering is a lot tighter um it doesn't uh rev the same it uh, actually shifts a little later i believe but the uh, sport actually changes like the entire way the car drives uh which is awesome and then you have your entertainment uh your infotainment system which you don't have a touch screen this is pretty far back so you use this little this little trackpad i guess you have a back button you have a home button uh this is to change the app on the side so this will always be uh separate you can scroll through it through here you have your clock you have a navigation and then you have your now playing so car place your sex sim radio um and yeah this trackpad it is it is a learning curve however i do like it it just doesn't work so well on carplay which i might show here in a second um Okay, you can just scroll through here. It's quite easy to use, again, as a trackpad, but when you have your phone connected, it's a little different. You have your volume knob. You have your tuner, so I skip and uh, go back button. Um, your glove compartment is uh, pretty small, I'm not going to lie. It's just a little annoying how the way it works. You can't go through it very quickly. It's quite slow. <laughs> it's not really a problem, honestly. I don't notice it too often, but it does get annoying, especially something like Waze where like, I quickly want to go to report like, I don't know, police or traffic. You can't, you have to go scroll through it individually, which can be a little annoying if you are driving, obviously. Uh, but it's honestly not that big of an issue, really. Um, yeah, this car is pretty nice to drive. Uh, obviously red line at seven to eight thousand it is a VTEC engine um 160 miles per hour is what is on the speedometer i'm sure it can go far past that if you just get a ecu tune and uh yeah what else is there to say i guess we can hop into the passenger seat and see what it's like from the passenger experience the seat is definitely a lot higher <laughs> but yeah i think you can see it right here i'm not sure how well that's trying on the camera but there is another uh port for charging the seat is definitely a lot higher does this adjust all the way down too I'm trying to see oh the seat does go down i don't think this works on my car there you go that's a lot more comfortable but yeah you also get power seats on this side and if you do have obviously the a spec you get the ventilated seats it's on both driver and passenger unfortunately not for the back seats which kind of sucks but uh i guess it uh i guess it works out well being a passenger princess <laughs> 
back to the driver's seat we do obviously have uh, sunshade nice little mirrors as you can see you can pull it out to the side can pull it back awesome and then uh you do have a sunroof unfortunately no panoramic roof that would have been nice on this car uh, at least on a higher end trim and then uh can pull it back fully open it close it and you can also push it up if you'd like to very nice close that up we do have two lights on the sides do have a assist button i believe that calls emergency services acura link i believe you talk to an acura agent um you can set the doors and how they light up when you open and close the doors after you have them off you can see some more speakers speaker in the uh door as well another speaker at the bottom of the door now another trunk release button if you need to do it from in here um i think that's all really to talk about um i'm not gonna do a drive test on this car it's a loner can only do that on my car save yourself the legal headache <laughs> put the disclaimers um really quickly i guess this does have a 15.9 gallon tank about 16 gallon tank um unfortunately this car only gets like 22 in the city 30 on the highway i believe obviously my average right here that we're looking at is a lot lower because miami traffic and this car obviously probably wasn't driven in ideal conditions or in an ideal manner um but yeah 150 miles so far 18.2 uh, average and i am obviously idling right now this car does need gas as you can tell though we do have a few gallons of gas it just looks a lot more empty but it is a bigger tank um yeah not so bad probably do need to put some gas in this car though we'll say um besides that pretty cool car we'll talk about more once i get my car out of the shop we'll do a bunch of videos on it but thank you guys so much for watching excuse how awkward i was my first time ever doing a video like this but i'm sure the future ones are going to be pretty awesome and uh yeah let me know if i missed anything catch you guys in the next one subscribe turn notifications so you guys never miss a video check out our instagram which is at tmg tasty rides uh we will have a tiktok and their pages out pretty soon everything as always at tastymediagroup.com uh very cool car very cool